What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play Aatrox, currently an S plus tier top laner, one of the absolute best top laners you can play right now. His win rate is absolutely insane. So that is why I'm making this video. In case you guys want to abuse an OP champion, then go ahead before he gets nerfed. So we are starting off with a Q. That's an ability that you can recast. And honestly, the goal is to hit people at the outer edge of the queue. With the second, like the first and the second cast, you want to hit at the outer edge and then the last one you want to hit in the center. That's where a lot of your damage is at. And you can just use this to last hit for now and then you also have this empowered auto attack once in a while. That's going to heal you for a lot if you hit the enemy champion with it, but on the minions the healing is a lot less. Just gonna stay back here, it's Darius, and he's level 2. And this is the last cast of that Q, you can see he's hitting in a circle. We're just gonna stay back here, so now that we have the E, it works as an auto attack reset and it's a dash. So the way you want to use this is that you combine it with your Q, like this. So it basically works as an easy way for you to hit people with the outer edge, because that's where a lot of your damage is at. And when you do that, your passive cooldown also gets increased by a lot. Or decreased by a lot when you hit people with the outer edge. See, that's a lot of damage. It's still a Darius though, so we have to respect that. And then the W, you can see, is going to like um, spawn a chain. And if they're standing inside that zone, it's going to like drag them towards the center. Okay, we have a incoming gank, it looks like. But when you trade, of course, try to like poke a lot with the Q and E. Really try to hit people with the outer edge as much as possible. You also have a passive part. There E. I think he's gonna escape. Like, he's gonna flash away, no? Yeah, he is. Leblanc. Leblanc, hello. Come on, one E, one E Mordecai, so you can hit it, you can do it, get vision first. Ah, no. not even enough damage sadly. But like you have a lot more damage when you hit people with the outer edge and then you also have a passive part with the Omniwam on your E. So it's a champion that has a lot of sustain into his kit because you also have healing on your passive. So if they build anti-healing then yes it's going to make things a bit more difficult but still he has a very strong laning phase. And also the same thing as when you trade and when you want to push always try to hit with the outer edge of your Q. Alright let's back off here, no need for us to stay. Mordecai has to be careful. Just what are you doing, my man? Hello? What? What's that? We're gonna go for the Eclipse here, because we're going for a damage heavy build. On Aatrox, it's a lot more fun, and it's also a lot better for carrying the games yourself. And overall, he's pretty easy to play. He's a bruiser. And the goal here is that you try to hit the W, and then when the chain is going to pull him towards the center, you try to time that with your Qs. Even better if you can hit the last Q, because that one has the most damage. Just try to poke as much as possible, and then when they're low HP, then you can just hold in them. Just poke like this. Remember, like attacking stuff, like enemy champion stuff, is going to lower the cooldown of the passive, but if you hit with the outer edge, that's going to lower the cooldown even faster. You have to be really careful since it's a Darius, like he's still really OP in extended fights where he gets to stack his passive up, so we're just gonna chill for a bit. Just poking like this here. Has to be careful of his hook. Just staying back and farming like this. We would like to have our ignite up.
As long as you can do this, guys. And you can see it's tracking him back. So if you time it with your Qs, then that's going to be a lot of free damage. Just stay back. We are not level 6 he is. We're gonna get level 6 after this wave, though. So this ultimate giving you increased stats and also some bonus movement speed and it also fears the nearby minions when you use it. It's really OP for all in. You also get a lot of healing. So when you want to go all in, obviously this is the stuff you want to use. And you can see when we are pushing, really trying to make sure that we hit at the edges and at the center with the last one. And also remember that E is an auto attack reset. I think I'll just go ahead and reset here, so I'm gonna get anti-healing. He might be buying it as well. No, he's not. But Darius actually heals a lot too, so we can deny that. I'll just wait for another longsword. And now we have the ultimate up. You can see you're getting a lot of free stats here. It's very OP for all ins and then takedowns. It's also going to like give you extra duration, like 5 seconds extra. So great for team fighting. Great for split pushing when you're going to 1 versus 1 or even 1 versus 2s. Alright, that's the Drake secured. We'll take that one. He has the ammo boots. They're a bit OP top lane. Pretty much against any AD matchup. We just try to poke. And then once it's low HP, that's when we can go for all ins. That's a way you can use that E. I think we got all the minions too, so that's awesome. We still want that first item if possible. First mythic item complete completion, that's gonna help a ton. Are you about to get ganked? Alright, we got the minion. But we could be here, so of course we rely a lot on dashes, so that could actually make things really hard if Poppy came. Yeah, Poppy was here indeed. At least we took out the control ward. That's a hell for the top. Or whoever is going to get that. Wow, he actually dodged that one. I think he f he flashed it, no? But luckily, Mordecai came. That's all good. I want to finish him before like Poppy came. Ooh, if I had flash up for this one, now you can do the Q flash if you saw what I did early on. But he dodged it. I think he flashed it or something, or I missed it, I don't know, but... You can do that to like get the finishing kill. But Darius can be a bit difficult. Because he's running double mobility sums, so he actually becomes pretty mobile. But we can just peace out. So the anti-healing actually helped us out a lot. Like, it did help out a ton, so it's a good thing about this one, and now... We would just continue building towards the Eclipse. Getting some lethality. He does have the armor here, but he's gonna go for... Either Divine Sunder or... No, actually he can go for... What's it called? Trinity Force, I think? Is that what he's building towards? Yeah, it could be. He can also go for Gordringer, so he does have several options. For his Brusa. Aatrox, on the other hand, really good with Eclipse and also Gordringer, which is another really good item on him. But if you want the high damage output, then Eclipse is the way to go, because it also gives you some pen. Where is Darius at? Did he recall? He might have recalled. 
but we spot side so we are okay for now same thing as usual want to push then just try to hit to the empowered spots which is the outer edge of the first two cubes and then the center of the last one i saw fist fucking up here i don't know if he's low hp or not oh we actually walked out of it You can see that's a lot of free damage and also that sustain we have. Combined with the anti-healing, we are proccing on the Darius. We have the ignite up soon as well. He's probably gonna reset, is he not? He might, or he might also decide to stay. He can just sit here. I think we just keep pushing it out here because if he resets then we want to be able to you know take some plates before they expire in a bit more than a minute. Villain is missing, Poppy is also missing, okay. I'm trying to bait out his hook first. Nice, there we go. There we go. Anti healing really doing a lot. They have actually changed Aatrox ultimate several times now. Used to have that revive mechanic as well. But that also ended up being pretty OP. That healing we got on the auto attack actually came in really handy. We have it up soon as well. Probably might try to like flank for when the Darius comes, so we're just gonna shove it out and then we reset. And once we recall, we will have enough gold for the Eclipse and that's why the fun part begins. Not quite sure what's happening mid. He's probably gonna escape. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to work. But now we got the Eclipse, so that's another big spike. Oh nice, shot down, that's huge. So they should turn that into the Drake. And we just keep doing the same thing. You just poke a lot with the outer edge of your Q, combine that with your E dash, so you can really make sure to hit people where it hurts the most. And then once they're low HP or something, then you can go all in. You can also try to like time it with your W. Like if you hit them once and you CC them, that's short CC. Then you can time it with your W because that's like a guaranteed hit. And then you can hit them with another outer edge of your Q. Usually if you do that when you are ahead, that should result in a kill or a summoner a lot of the time. Oh no, they died. They should die, that's a bit unfortunate. And we lost the Drake too. Hey. Just constantly harassing at his tower. Bring him to low HP. We have a lot of build and sustain with the passive and also the E passive. So we can heal up pretty easily, and then we also have Eclipse that also gives some healing. Okay, Morgana coming top. Right, we are winning the fight, but I'm just getting permakited around. Nice, there we go. Oh, there's another one coming in. Make sure I'm not standing close to the wall. I'm probably dead anyways. Oh, really good ultimate. 
Thank you, Mordekaiser. Let's see if we can get the puppy. The pops. Nice. I think he has saved us two times now. A good job to him. Flashes down on the Darius. I had to flash him early on because like he would get a Q healing stacked up. And then he could probably just hold me and I die. See how fast we are healing up because of all that healing we have on the E passive as well as our own passive and the Eclipse. And when you push, auto attack into E into another fast auto attack. And when you are fed, you can really go for a lot of stuff as long as you make sure to hit them at the vital, with the vital cues. Even if it's a Darius, like Darius would in a lot of cases still be able to fight the enemy top laner even though he's behind because he's Darius, you know, his passive, he gets that stacked up, he gets a ton of AD and his ultimate just nukes people. But this is Aatrox and he's really broken. Now we're sitting on a lot of gold once again, so we can go ahead and reset. Now we can buy the armor boots that we have been needing for a while. We get this and then we get some armor pen with the cleaver and then we can also go for Cerulda's Grudge. If needed. Um, the good thing about Cerulda's Grudge here is the fact that you get that slow on the ability, so every time you hit anything here, they get slowed on top of that, so it just makes it even harder for people to escape from Aatrox. And it's really satisfying to wave clear as well when you get some AD items because like you just start deleting the waves. Have to make sure he was not camming in here, that's why I check with a Q. They could still be trying to flank me just because I have a pretty big shutdown. But the game is even now. LeBlanc was getting destroyed, but she's strong again, and Mordecai's are doing great. That's a lot of free damage, and we have full HP, and we also have low cooldown because we are also prioritizing items that gives us ability haste, so we can spam the abilities more often, and we don't use any mana. Super, super easy um, to play this champion, honestly. And he's also really OP right now, so if you want some free LP, guys, have fun abusing that before he gets nerfed. Yeah, I did see the Poppy moving up. If it's only Poppy and Darius. Maybe it should be okay. Maybe not, we'll see. Okay, Poppy Smith again. And he's gone. Easy. Like, it's really hard to escape from the ultimate as well. You get a lot of movement speed, but it's decaying movement speed. It's still a lot. Like, it's still a lot. So just keep pushing it out. And you can just see how fast we are healing up. Can also take away the golems here. Whoops. That was not intentional. That second Q. Pretty bad. But you can see the Q backwards is something you can do while you're trying to kite people. Like people are chasing you and you want to kite backwards, that's when you use it. For example, when you're about to get ganked, An enemy has been slain. when you're about to get ganked or something, then you can use that E backwards. Can I even get this? No, he's gonna smite it. Okay. Okay, okay, I see how it is. Pull back off and get the cleaver here. I saw the Darius. Should be fine. Now we have... 
Lots of ability haste and we also have some more armor pen combined with the eclipse. You can see that really adds up to a lot. I actually think this guy can easily destroy me. Just because he's Raven. If he gets to Kaidos then yes he can easily. He keeps fit pushing and you can also use your E like this to dash our walls. It does have a pretty low cooldown at this point. You can see 3.6 seconds so you don't have to be as careful anymore with using it. There's no wards. He might have his double thumbs up. Well, maybe I should have kept chasing because our bot lane was coming. Poppy might be here and also mid laner could be here. That's a stopwatch on the fist. Have to keep that in mind. And even if you mess up on this champion. I have not been hitting all of my Qs right, even if you mess up. As long as you just hit one out of HQ, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage and it can actually have you win the fight. You saw how I killed like Darius the second time, or was it the first time? I missed a lot of my Qs but still ended up getting the kill. But I also made sure that he missed his Qs right, because if I got hit by everything then I would have died for sure. Just staying around here until I see the puppy. Take away the camps. Damn, easy clear. Super easy clear. Lots of people missing on the map. Okay, they're going bot. That's a fight starting. The Drake is not up yet though. I think I might have to help them soon. This is not looking very good with the Draven popping off. Rip Mordekaiser. Yeah, um, it's a bit difficult for Mordekaiser to find and engage just because the um, Morgana shield. Oh, he did not die. That is so sad. That is so sad. I could have gotten a triple kill right here. I think he survived with 1 HP or something. There has to be 1 HP. They might be able to stop this though. I honestly think he survived with like 1 HP when I flashed auto attacked him. Come on guys, you can stop this. Viva has to poke. Oh my days, how did you get hit by the hook? Oh nice, okay. Well, play LeBlanc. Should not be tanking the outer edge on that champ. Yes, he's honestly playing it a bit terrible, but they stopped the attempt. They need to do it two of them. Can they do it? Nice, well done. Well done, finally. And he's attempting to solo the Baron. God knows why. Can we even do this? We might be able to do it, but the question is how much are we losing for it? Let's hope Poppy somehow does not steal this because then it's a pretty big disaster. Could be ours, right? Nice. Can we get the... We should take down the puppy. Uh, why are you running away? Awesome. We should continue towards the Drake. I have the ultimate up. I did, I did save it because I want to save it for the Raven. Um, he actually pulled him out of my Q.
go. Let's flash down on Draven. Nice. Good team fighting. So that's a good example of how you want to team fight. You can be the first one to engage, but you also have to keep in mind what you're building. I'm not building Brusa, right? I'm building more of a carry, like a mix of carry and Brusa. So I won't be as tanky as if I had Gordringer and other items like the Death Stand. So I still have to be a bit careful of just standing and peeling for my teammates. I mean, that's worth it. We'll take that. I'll take that any day. Ultimate down on the Morgana, but I stood back and then I peeled for my teammates. I just hit whoever was closest, and then when I saw that Dar uh, Draven was alone, I went for him. He can easily kill us, but we can also kill him. Okay, that's. I was not thinking about the flank. That's my bad. That's my bad. They should be able to wake her up because they had the Siva, and she is scaling up. I troll for a bit. I was greeting because I had almost enough gold for the uh, Cerilda, so if I got like one kill, that should have been pretty easy. They had to like stop. Oh no, they're walking too far back. Mordecai is alone. And Siva once again somehow getting hit by the hook. We had the spell shield, I have no clue how that even happens. But okay, I also messed up, so... Yeah. It's going to be a bit difficult game. At least I don't have any objectives they can take right now. If you can hit a good Q onto that team. The spell shield is a problem though, the Morgana spell shield. Like, that is indeed very annoying. Ooh, nice. So we need to group up here, because I feel like one of us will just keep getting caught. So if we group up, we can at least be there and make the fight more even. Where is the puppy recalling? Could be here. Nope, it's not. Okay, they backed off all the way. We had to group here and then we had to rely on the ARAM. There's a lot of armor coming in from both of these players, so that's why the next armor pin item here can actually help out a ton if I can get to buy it. We should be able to get the puppy. I can yell. out. He has to get the Draven. There we go. Now we can go ahead and maybe end the game, maybe not. Depends on how well they are defending. This is what Leblanc is recalling, should be okay. I don't think we can end just because the respawn timers are so low. Okay, good thing for the stopwatch. He should be able to get him. He actually messed up the ultimate and the E. Now we can get tanky items like the Death Stance here. Really OP item. Like really, really OP item. Because it makes you extremely tanky against everything. Magic and physical damage. The only thing it does not work against is true damage of course, but still... This item, you can just buy it every single game and be like a mini tank. Oh, we should not be going solo right now. Ult him. Oh, he does not have it up. He's pretty tanky though. Oh, I might be dead. I died for his sins. I died for his sins, I should not have tried to help him. That was so dumb by this guy, I don't know what he's doing inside the jungle, all by himself. 
the Drake was coming up. I don't know what this guy like. That is, that is actually griefing. Are they getting the Baron now? Or they could even try to go and go for the end. But the Baron and the Drake is pretty free for them now because of what he tried to do. Seems like they just want to push it out and go for Baron. Or the Drake, because otherwise we might be able to get the soul. So we have to like wait for Leblanc to make a play as well. You can just go in. Take out some of their health with a quick combo. And then we can look for the final engage. But you can see even something like a Draven is really going to be a problem. Especially because he's sitting on 18 kills. So obviously he's going to be pretty hard to deal with. And we got him. My ultimate keeps resetting. Nice, we can go for... I think we can end. We have to the silver heal. I think we just go for the Baron. I don't trust these guys to end. Now let's pray that Sivir does not somehow die to the fist. I have to be ready to like block his ultimate. I still don't have the death stand, so I'm still a bit squishy. But at least my AD carry won't die if I manage to block it. Alright, the Baron secured once again. Now we just need to group mid and we have to focus down the Raven. I'm gonna buy this because I think after one fight the game is over. Either we lose or they win from this fight here. So that's why I'm buying this because maybe I won't get to buy this then. So I might as well buy anything that can help me right now. We just need LeBlanc to uh, group with us now. She has to poke. Like she has to poke because if they see she's bot lane, they could easily try to collapse. He has no boots, but just full damage. Full damage, we have to block the wave. Have to keep the wave blocked. Right. This is so... This wave keeps pushing in, so somebody has to defend it. Yeah, this is how she wants to poke. He just has to keep doing this. Oh no, my broski, once again Mordekaiser, we can try to push the tower. I went for the Draven. The only one I was focusing down right here was the Draven. Alright, now we should be able to end, hopefully. You can see, just try to focus down the main target, because you are pretty similar to an assassin, except for that you're really tanky, but with this build, you have a lot of damage. What is this guy doing? He's actually griefing us again. He's actually not... He's making it so we cannot end. I will report him after the game. Let's see. Like they're all gonna respawn now. Just gonna attack the base. And that was how to play Aatrox. I hope this was helpful guys. Thanks for watching. And see you all next time.